Hello, how are you today? As always, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to read you a poem by Charles Bukowski called Dinner 1933. So as the title tells you, it's set in 1933, which is uh, basically the Great Depression era when many Americans were struggling. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you about it. Um, this time I'm going to ask you to just Listen to the poem, read through the poem, and pick out whatever ideas interest you and respond to them. Okay, so I'm going to lay off on the interpretation today. But don't worry, next week I'll be back to doing line readings, close readings, just helping you understand step by step. But this one, I think the language is straightforward mostly, and I want to give you a chance to do your own interpreting. Okay, so let's just get right into it. When my father ate, his lips became greasy with food. And when he ate, he talked about how good the food was, and that most other people didn't eat as good as we did. He liked to sop up what was left on his plate with a piece of bread, meanwhile making appreciative sounds, rather like half grunts. He slurped his coffee, making loud bubbling sounds. Then he'd put the cup down. Dessert? Is it jello? My mother would bring it in a large bowl and my father would spoon it out. As it plopped in the dish, the jello made strange sounds, almost fart like sounds. Then came the whipped cream, mounds of it on the jello. Ah, jello and whipped cream! My father sucked the jello and whipped cream off his spoon. It sounded as if it was entering a wind tunnel. Finished with that, he would wipe his mouth with a huge white napkin, rubbing hard in circular motions, the napkin almost hiding his entire face. After that, out came the camel cigarettes. He'd light one with a wooden kitchen match, then place the match, still burning, onto an ashtray. Then a slurp of coffee, the cup back down and a good drag on the camel. Ah, that was a good meal. Moments later in my bedroom, on my bed in the dark, the food that I had eaten and what I had seen was already making me ill. The only good thing was listening to the crickets out there, out there in another world I didn't live in. So there you have it, a poem for your own uh, interpretation. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you again next week with more poetry. Have a good time.